Hello, guys. So I have a, a new to me stamp set. This is called the Autumn Squirrel. And let's get to coloring him. So I thought, isn't this cute for Autumn? I'm going to stamp him out using the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. I have my little magnetic handle on there. It makes it easy so I don't drop the ink pad. He's full of detail. I love these kinds of stamps because I really don't have to be that good at coloring to make the stamp look good or make the card look good. Ooh, he came out pretty good. All right. And I'm just stamping on some five by three and three quarters paper. I just want to make sure that's fully dry because I want to use um, some watercolor pencils on this. I have some the Arteza watercolor pencils that come in the tube. Get those out. And I'm going to do some pretty simple coloring. And I believe I have some water brushes here. So let's get into the coloring. And I have the image off to the side. I just kind of use that as a guide. I knew how to edit my videos I would just edit this part out but I know some of you enjoy watching it and if you're not one of those people that enjoys watching it just tap the right side of the screen right here a couple times and it'll fast forward for you so a little bit of orange a little bit of yellow Let's go in and do our little acorns here. I guess I should tell you the names of the colors, but oh, here we go. Okay, garnet, that's not exactly the color I wanted. Cocoa is one of the colors I wanted. And dark chocolate, okay. Oops, sorry, bumped the camera. Sienna brown, okay. No rhyme or reason here, just laying down some color where I think I should be really concentrated and saturated in color, I put down darker. Where I think I want it to be a little lighter, I put down lighter. And I'm just going to take one of my water brushes here. Grab a little paper towel. much just start blending 
and you guys have heard me rave about these pencils from Arteza. They're just very, very easy to use. too heavy handed with the water there. It's okay. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do the nut that's in his hand. Let's do that one. Uh, this one's called Burnt Ochre. Okay. All right, so now let's get into our squirrel. Um, let's see here. I don't know that I have too many different colors of grays here, but let's see what we can work with. And we actually need to do a little bit with the ground too, which I kind of forgot about, but we'll get back to that. have space gray which is a little bit lighter gray and I think I'm gonna do the majority of our little squirrel friend here in this lighter gray and again because of the artistic design on these stamps the depths of the shadows are already there the highlights are already there so all you really need to do is just throw some color on this guy don't need to do much I'm going to go in with the elephant gray, which is a little darker, and anywhere that it is darker and it's drawn in darker, look behind his back here, a little bit over here, back of his legs, bottom of his feet, in this shadow of his belly here. I 
that's how simple it is to color these images in. Then I just go in with the water air brush and it dissolves that watercolor pencil like magic. Now it looks like I watercolored it. Totally faking it. I used to be one that really just did not like coloring. I'm not really good with Copics. But these watercolor pencils just make it easy. Plus the combination of these stamps from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. Because of the artistic ability of the, um, of the artist that made these stamps and designed these stamps. So easy for me to just color it. So thank you, Blue Night River Stamps, for making these really cool stamps that make people like me look like we're good at coloring when we're really not. Well, that's it. Okay, so let's do a little bit on the ground. I have this, like, taupey olive green color camel, it's called, actually. That's a pretty good name. Okay. So we're just going to do... In the dirt here, a little bit under here. I wonder if I have any, like an olive green would be a good color to add. Coyote, let's see how that comes out. Again, where I want more color, I put more down. And where I want less color, I put less down and I just drag it out with my water brush. In case you haven't heard me say it before, I love these watercolor pencils. So, I want to add a little something with our little squirrel friend. Well, he needs, he needs clouds, right? So we need to do a little clouds here. So, before we do clouds though, he needs a little friend. Like, I feel like he's distracted. So, I thought, let's bring in the small butterfly from the tiger swallowtail butterfly, the tiny little guy here. Let's stamp him on there. We'll give our little squirrel buddy somebody to hang out with here. I'm just gonna stamp him off over here. Oh. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna heat dry our little butterfly. And while we're waiting for him to dry, now we will take our little cloud stencil from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. We need a puffy brush. Let's see here. What do we have? A new one. This is a brand new one. It's a little softer. Let me grab a nice light blue ink where we have something. This Caribbean sky from Altenew. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Load that up. I kind of want to do puffy clouds, so we're going to angle it like this. And I'm going to add some more. 
angle it like this. And it's going to kind of go around our little butterfly buddy. We're going to color him in, so don't worry too much about him. Some more puffiness over here. And I'm going to move over and do some little smaller clouds. If you ever feel like, like I feel like my lines are too harsh on my clouds, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to overlap. And what I'm going to do is add some direction to my stencil. So I'm going to go over here, kind of add, actually I'm going to go with some bigger clouds over here. Just put a little angle on there and just overlap it. And then what this will do is it will kind of camouflage those clouds, but it will blend it in. Here, add some more little ones. This is adding layers of clouds. You can never have too many clouds, by the way. So now what it's doing is it's just adding a whole bunch of layers of clouds. I'm going to go back in, do my edges here. That's, these makeup brushes are really soft and add a light touch of color um, versus the Distress tool, Tools. I do like my go-to is the Distress tools, tools, but when I'm doing clouds and I want that light hand, then I go in with these little makeup brushes. have a little one too. This one here. I can go in and add some color in here. Pretty good for our cloudy, cloudy sky. Oops. So now I just want to color our little butterfly friend. And I think I'm going to go with a bright orange just to go with the orange in the leaves. blood orange. I'm going to go in the middle with this and then go in with the lighter orange and taper that out. And once again, go in with the watercolor pencil and pull that color out. Okay, I'm going to hit that with the heat tool one more time because I'm not done yet. Before we put this on our card. Okay, so we've, before we mount this to our card base... 
I got some embellishments I was thinking about adding. I was going to cut some acorns on this. Oops, acorn punch, but I think it's probably too big for an image. So I'm going to scrap that idea. But I have these tiny little leaves. I picked these up from Hobby Lobby. And they're all different. Um, they're handmade paper little leaves. And I think they are the perfect size to put on here. So I'm going to glue a couple of these on here. Just the smaller ones. And actually... A little bit of distress ink and gathered twigs. I'll just do the base of my card here a little bit. Just a little bit of brown. Okay. Now I'm going to take a little more and I'm just going to gently ink my little leaves here. Because I don't really want them to detract from our little squirrel guy. We want him to be the center of attention, but we want to add these little leaves. And I think adding a little bit of that brown really does distress them. Look at that. Okay. And so I'm just going to glue a couple of these. In here. And then I'll mount it to a card base and he'll be done. There we go. Now we got to do is just put them on a card base. So that is the Autumn Squirrel from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps paired with the Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly, the small butterfly. Um, I just colored with some Arteza watercolor pencils. I'll link everything I use down below for you. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. If you like this video, I appreciate your thumbs up. And once again, Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.